Everything in 3D modeling world has some kind of texture. So your 3D modeling project should have should include some kind of texture also. In this tutorial I'll show you how you can create texture material for your 3D models using a simple and easy texture modeling method by following a procedural bump texture material modeling method. So let's get started. So to get started, uh, first I have a sphere here uh, and this is just a smooth object and I'm in the shading mode. So uh, let's add a new material. So we'll use this uh, the principal base div as a starting point. And now, uh, so the general idea is to create procedural bump so that you can apply on your 3D modeling projects. So to get started, uh, first uh, make sure that the edit preferences add-ons you have your node wrangler checked make sure node wrangler is checked so after that we can start shift a so the first thing i want to add is a noise texture yeah so i'll uh, Let me adjust this. So I want uh, I want to map. If you want to see the effect of the noise texture, you can uh, drag the color into the normal, which will be the usual expected output. So. If you notice, uh, there is no much change on uh, on the object. There is some uh, thing going on, but it's not final. So to fully realize what's happening, we need to add another effect, which is a bump. So shift A and then the vector, add the bump and see what's happening. Okay, we don't still see much effect that's because the noise texture is bounded to the normal in which case it should be the height now as you can see uh, there are some changes we have some bumps and we have some kind of texture on the sphere surface it was smooth earlier now we have this so we have mechanisms to control the bumping and the height of the pump and the number of the pumps in the different uh, details so for that if you go to the scale here down here in the noise texture you can increase the scale So if you notice as I'm increasing the scale value, the details, the bumps become smaller and finer in detail. Now if I zoom in, you can see now the bumps have been partitioned into many parts. They are more finer and smaller. And if you go down, they will be become uh, bigger and larger so it all depends on your on your need you can vary this another way is a detail so uh, look cl closely as i'm increasing the value of the detail down here 
So as you can see, now we have much details than earlier before by increasing the value of the details. Now here you see this one appears like a rock, typical natural uh, rock surface with much finer details. So this is one way you can change also the roughness value if you want you can this is higher roughness value if you bring this down it will be very smooth so for now i'll leave it in the middle 0.5 and down here we have the distortion option so this will create a distorting effect to create various effects For now, I'll leave this at zero. Yeah, so this way you can vary uh, the different, by varying these parameters, you can obtain various results here. So another thing is uh, select the noise texture and press Ctrl T. So this will add another two uh, parameters, the texture coordinator and the mapping. These are, you don't have to change much on these uh, parameters. They are uh, standard. They are used for mapping this texture into the object you are modeling. So that's uh, all. Another thing is you can also vary the color of your material from uh, this side. Yeah. So uh, that, that will be all. So I hope you'll find this useful you are modeling some like wall structures or house buildings things like that or any object and if you want some kind of bumps or textures to go along with it you can use this method this will give your object more uh, realistic appearance and it will add more value to your project so that's all for uh, today. If you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe the channel. I'll see you next time with another Blender tutorial. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.